Hello everybody, it's Morgan Fisher with Childhood Mission of Uganda. Uh, we're standing in front of one of the primary schools in Kotoki Village where the children come to, or some of the children come to whenever uh, they graduate from uh, Bright Steps Kids Academy. And I just wanted to show you the building and bring you inside, show you around the classrooms and stuff. So uh, if you would, follow me on this quick little journey uh, into the school. Hello, how are y'all doing? Good. Alright. This is uh, one of the classrooms, the blackboard on the wall, the children sitting at their desk. How big is this room? This room is not too big. About eight foot wide and about ten foot long or so. A little cramp. There's uh Six or ten children in here, <clears throat> and space for a teacher to stand in the front. All right. Okay, we yep. have another room. Yeah. How do I get through? I have no idea how That's we do that. That's the question. Yeah. Watch your foot there. Excuse me, dear. Excuse me. Alright, there's other classrooms back here, a small little hallway leading down to the next classroom. And this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, P1 through P4 uh, that attends in here, but other classroom is at the end down here. And we have six children in this room. And it's about an eight by eight room. Seven. 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 Yeah, one is upstairs. Okay. So as you can see, again from walking around through this small little school, that uh the need to have a nice facility for these children to be able to attend once they graduate from uh, kindergarten and at Bright Steps Kids Academy. Uh, that's, that's such a, a strong need to have the uh, four classrooms there from P1 through P4 so these children can stay on site at Bright Steps and uh, receive their education from their early childhood all the way up to uh, age 10. Uh, before they attend a uh, government school.